chapter 6, lesson 1, is about properties of squares and rectangles. So, um, we have a square and we have a rectangle. Okay, the difference between the two is with the squares, all sides are equal. Okay, in squares, the angles are all right angles. And the opposite sides are parallel. So again, the symbol for parallel will be the arrows. So this will get two arrows and two arrows. So that means this side is parallel to that side and this side is parallel to that side. So with a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. Okay, unlike the square where all four sides are equal. So that means this is equal to that and that side is equal to that. Okay, with a rectangle, all four angles are also right angles. Okay, and with a rectangle, opposite sides are also parallel, which means all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are square. Okay, so um, the exercises that we will be doing will come from two different pages. Uh, we start with page 102, and there's a drawing. Okay, so for this problem, it says that this side is 13 centimeters and this side is 15 centimeters, which makes the opposite side also 13 centimeters and the opposite side also 15 centimeters. So if the question says, what is the measurement of QR? QR technically is 13 centimeters and SR would be 15 centimeters. Okay, in page 104, again, there will be drawings. Okay, so let me draw them out. Okay, so we know that each of these angles are 90 degrees. So therefore, if it's divided into two different angles, then that means the total of the two should be 90 degrees. So if we're looking for B, that's theoretically 90 degrees minus 65 degrees. Now, if we remember our mental math, the way to go about this is we subtract the tens. 90 minus 60 is 30. And then since that's bigger, then we go like this. So this first, and then we go backwards. So this is minus 5, which means this must be 25 degrees. Okay, so making angle B 25 degrees. So if you don't know this strategy, then you have to do it computationally. So write it down vertically. Okay, in, let, in letter D, angle D technically is 90 degrees minus the sum of these two, which is 40 degrees plus 34 degrees. Okay, so clearly this I can do mentally. So that's 90 degrees minus 74 degrees. Um, the kid should be able to do that mentally. Okay, so again, applying the same strategy as above, 90 minus 70 is 20. Minus, because this is bigger, so minus 4, which means this must be 16 degrees. So the measurement of angle D must be 16 degrees. So again, when we're looking at a rectangle or a square, opposite sides are equal. Okay. And all angles are 90 degrees. So if an angle is split into various angles, then that means it should all add up to 90 degrees. That concludes lesson one of chapter six. See you in the next lesson.